Hey everybody and welcome to Kirby and the Forgotten Land demo. Since this just dropped basically today, I want to try out the demo, so. Uh, Spring Breeze Mode. Kirby has a Kirby game that's simple to play. You'll have lots of a lot of health. Uh, for this adventure, per uh, perfect for those who are new to the action games. Or Wild Mode. A Kirby game that's a bit wilder and more challenging. This adventure will be tough at times. But you'll collect a lot of star coins as rewards. Uh, I'll do wild mode. I'm probably gonna die, but I'm gonna go for it. Well, here we are. We can move around now. We can also use B to suck up whatever we want. Hold it down to just keep it charging. Um, A to jump. Doesn't look like we can do much else at the moment. Oh, we can eat the... the... the shells. We can also spit them out again by pressing uh, B again, but I think... There's probably, if we press uh, ZL, we can absorb it, except that we can't really absorb these. I thought we would be able to, since they're rocks. Well, one of those was a rock, but anyway. I guess it has to be an enemy to absorb power up. Seems like just in, uh, exploring the environment gives us some star coins, though. Which is good. Now, I believe we can also jump and, like, fly a little bit. Probably not forever, but yeah, we're gonna run out of energy there. This is so cool. This is so good. This looks like the mo probably the most. I know there's fog, but this looks like the most beautiful Switch game I've seen so far, probably. Okay, let's inhale this and spit that out. I'm also just gonna float across because I can. Um, hang on. If I am floating and then press B, I can puff out, which is good because then I can go down faster. Important to know. Oh, there's a. There's a boy there. Is there anything in the tree? Nope. Gonna eat you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Cherry, that's a bit of health. If we had been hit. But we're alright. This is so cool. This is so beautiful. I'm looking forward to the full release soon. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm very happy. I can't even express just how much I love this already. I want sword, give me sword. Okay. And now we have sword, because we absorbed the sword enemy. We can press B to slash at the enemies. And I'm guessing if I press like ZR, oh, I, I block with ZR and actually can do a little dodge roll. 
That's interesting. Let me slash you very quickly to get rid of you. I'm sure there's a button. Is it left? No, left also blocks. Y? Oh yeah, if I hold Y I can drop my ability, but I probably want to keep that. Can I get rid of you please? No. I'm pressing the wrong button already. That's not good. Oh my goodness. I need to probably adjust the settings. We can actually see our health on the top of the screen, which I probably should keep in mind. Slash, please, thank you. Uh, I don't think X does anything so far. I'm sure it will eventually. I'm so used to slashing with the Y. Anyway, let's get rid of you. Oh, we can cut the grass. That's cool. I mean, if that's a normal thing that you would be able to do. But like, this is a Kirby game. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Get up. There. Gonna grab that drink for some food. To heal up, because I took a few hits. Okay. Oh my goodness, also the music. Oh, it's so good. Ah, uh, let's drop ability. And let's take bomb. Just like that. Now we can press B to throw bombs around. And I'm guessing if I hold it, I can actually throw it wherever I want. Which is pretty cool. Or just tap to throw it. I think I also have to be standing still to actually throw it wherever you want, specifically. Otherwise, you just roll it. Oh, so that's taking a while to explode. Is that just because I threw it, possibly? I don't know. Can't get up there, that's fine. Um, can I please take you out? Thank you. I just want those without any trouble, if I can. Oh, this is so, this is so good. I think this is going to be a very big highlight of the Switch very soon. Right now, actually. It's already a highlight of the Switch. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we're at the end of this area. So let's go into this place here. Looks like a car shop, I believe, probably. Okay, so I'm noticing something with the cutscenes. Also, we are now Car Kirby, or as it's better known on the internet as Carby. Oh my goodness. Kirby can't fit it quite in his mouth. So, it's called Mouthful Mode. <laughs> also, the cutscenes don't really have sound effects in it, it's mostly just music, which is an interesting style for this. I can destroy everything, and also B to dash. Uh, and I can spit it out by pressing Y, but I should probably just mouthful it. Looks like if it's something you can put into your mouth in mouthful mode, it will glow rainbow colors, so. Oh my goodness, so much destruction, and also star coins. Oh, I love this. Oh my goodness, I probably need to not dash everywhere too much. Also, we can still jump like this. Let's just drive right through the wall. This is so good. Also, I like how we still have our regular power-up, by the looks of it, when we exit mouth mode, because you've still got the hat on. That's really good. That's- that- I'm glad that it's like that. Because that could- that was probably a concern that people could have had, where you wouldn't be able to have a power-up when you go into mouth mode. We crash that wall there. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Oh my goodness, this is such a fun move. Oh, hello. That's a lot of star coin. Oh, I fell off. Okay, that's what happens if we fall off. We just get put back on the track. Now, can I destroy that? Nope. Let's just go this way then, I guess. Destroying everything in our path. This place is so cool. It it's just blows my mind that they put, like, a post-apocalyptic world into Kirby. Oh, 
Okay, looks like all the waddledies are being taken somewhere. Or something. Oh, I still have bombs, that's good. Also, I keep forgetting which button does what. I'm sure I could change the control settings. Type A, type B. That's exactly what I want. Also, apparently X is for using stock items. Also, Auto Swallow. I'm probably going to just leave Auto Swallow on. Because I'm assuming that means that if you have it off, it means you use the back buttons to swallow. Uh, but anyway, let's stick with that now. Because that's probably just going to instantly make me better at the game. Oh, yes it is. Oh, it's so much better. Well, let's save this thing. Also, I like how the new uh, new characters look. They're animals from this world, I guess. Also, I can just throw bombs everywhere, and if they touch them, they explode in as soon as they spawn in, so... Let's blow you up. Maybe? I don't know. Just touch it, apparently. I did it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Everything's furry. <laughs> Phew, you saved me, thank you. But what about those other guys? The Waddledees? How do you know what they are? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to go. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great! So, your name is Kirby? I'm... Elphilin. Nice to meet you. Let's get on the warp star. The chunky warp star. Oh, and we get to select stages. I was not expecting that, to be honest. But anyway, let's go to downtown grassland. Wild mode. Let's go. This is so cool. I love everything about this right now. It's also got co-op, and which is going to be one person plays as Kirby, one person plays as Waddle Dee, or a Waddle Dee, which could be interesting. I'd love to see that. I think this is going to be a really good game to play in co-op as well. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and grab all the star coins we possibly can. There's a red one right there. Make five tulips bloom. That's something I should keep in mind then. As a tulip. No, that's not a tulip. It's just a flower. There's so much stuff to just do, apparently. So we can just block normally. I'm kind of sad that there isn't a run button to run faster. I mean, we're already running just by default, but also I'd like to have a faster run. But maybe that's something that we will unlock later on in the game, possibly. The game has to draw us in somehow. Anyway, we've got a new ability for... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Cutter, of course. It says above my, my health bar. I don't know how I forgot what Cutter was called. It's a classic. I mean, everything we've used so far is a classic, but anyway. We can hit that switch there to open up the gate over here and get this food. There's also a secret cave over here that takes us to another tulip that we could have seen if we went around that side. Ah, uh, but anyway, it also means we don't have to hit the switch. There's so much stuff that we can do and not do. And it's very interesting. Ah, uh, mouthful. Let's do that with this vending machine. Oh my goodness. And now we can shoot stuff out at full speed to destroy things we couldn't before. Mo mainly the metal boxes. 
Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Just spitting everything everywhere. Oh, and do I need to pick those cans up? I guess so. Oh, we have limited ammo. I should probably be careful with how I'm just spamming everything. It was fun to spam everything, though. Okay. Just try these and go back here. Uh, I think this is actually the way to go. I don't want to see if I can go through this wall over here first. Probably. Since there's a bunch of extra stuff back here. Uh, I think I have to get out. Nope, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, wait. I think... Oh, I, I think we can't... Oh, no, we can. I don't know how I did that just now. I was a bit worried that I couldn't um, get out of my mouthful mode to do this. Collectible, apparently. I guess that's what that is. It's a capsule. Oh, we can go down here now. That's cool. This is so cool. Why is this the best Kirby game ever? I guess it's because it's on the Switch, but... Anyway, let me get rid of you if I can. Oh, wow, that was cool. I did a little combo thing. How many times can I say cool in this game? Probably more than any other game I've seen. I love this. Wopstar. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Can I go through that? No, I can't. But maybe with something else, maybe? I don't know. Ow. Oh, there's bomb there. I should probably grab that if I can. Also, apparently we can just hold the cutter out forever and it powers up or something. Uh, can I? Oh, right. I changed my buttons. That, that's why I couldn't figure out how to drop the vending machine before. Because I switched it to A. Uh, anyway. Let's go up this ladder over here and see if we can use bomb to blow up this wall. No? Okay. That's fine. Doesn't have to be a secret for everything. Just blow that up so we don't get shot by that cannon. The same thing over here, I guess. Let's grab this green worth, I think, a couple of... I don't know how many that's worth. Uh, but anyway. Let's blow these up. No, I can't blow this up. Uh, but we have a cone over here. A couple of cones. So let's go to mouthful mode. And now we are the VLC media player. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the attack button makes us jump and dive down in a stab move. That's... That's so well... <laughs> I love this. I love everything right now. Also, we look so silly waddling like this. Uh, anyway, there's a crack in the ground here, so let's break that open. Grab all this stuff. Some food and some uh, star coins. Come get me. Dare you. There we go. Oh, this is, this is... This is... This is the best. I am definitely picking this up when it releases. Whoop, get rid of you. Can't do anything to me when I'm dashing down. Let's grab another tulip. That's the third one. Just need another two. Let's go underneath here, like that. So many star coins, I don't even know what these are for yet. Let's burst this pipe. And go up here. Okay. Ride the spewing uh, water up to the balcony. There's just a ton of achievements to find, apparently. Hopefully they're not going to be too difficult to find. Oh, another collectible. Hopefully there's some way to know what stuff is in what levels. Possibly, hopefully. I'm assuming it's probably not going to be too difficult to find all the secrets though. Since usually, so far, there's been a crack on something to show you there's a secret. Uh, but anyway, looks like we're at the end of the road here, so let's spit out of mouthful mode and go up this ladder. Oh, there's a waddle dee. Let's see if we can save it. I'm assuming there's going to be a fight in this area though, before we get to him. Uh, let's take probably Cutter. These, these, like, uh, I don't know what to call them. Snow globe type things. Or just items on stands. Uh, if you walk into them, it gives you a power up that's inside of it, so. Which is good for us. Ooh, boss time. Wide edge. Let's see if we can damage walk into my Cutter and just keep damaging himself. Also, bosses will usually do an attack that will drop stars on the ground. Those are just something you can absorb and throw back at your enemy. Basically, using classic Kirby rules. You've got a lot of health. Also, what's with that? I think that 
because that style was white, it might actually have a power up in it, possibly. Might be wrong. Because that's also something that Kirby's done before with different colored stars giving you power ups. Come on. So close now. Very nice, and there we go. Also, I want to drop ability. Because we can also absorb the boss to get whatever power up it has, which is sword in this case. Save the hidden Waldies. One out of three, apparently. I thought that was going to be the end of that, but I guess there's more. And I'm okay with this. I'm very happy to have more. This demo is really good. There's so much in it already. Ow. I probably should be careful. Okay, good, 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 good. Go here. Break some other things. What's up there? I want to... Wanna... I want to take a look at this. I also need to find the rest of the tulips, which I think I just only... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. There's a hidden worldie here. So there's some that you can probably miss along the way. But that's cool that you can absorb that to open it. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. What is this? What is this? What is this? Hang on. Can't absorb it. Maybe I need a different power-up to do something here or something. Because that's definitely glowing for a reason, but I don't know what the reason is. Ah, uh, but I don't really know if I can get a different power-up to check that or something. Ah, uh, this cutter I could possibly get. Oh, there's a glowing spot here as well. Oh. Do I just need to stand on it and it'll do something? Possibly? Possibly. Let me go back up the other way then and check that. Since I might be able to actually do something there if I just stand on top of it. Or something. Okay, give me the secret. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know how I didn't try that. I thought I did try that actually. Uh, but anyway, let's grab you, hit you with that. If we jump and slash with the sword, it will do a little spin forward, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, let's take out some more enemies. Just like that. I like how the enemies also drop um, star coins when they die as well. Anything else secret here? Nope. Let's cut down this cone, which will allow us to do mouthful mode and get this... No, I didn't mean to do that. Give me that. Nope. I was trying to grab the sword. Hang on. Spit that out. I need the sword. I need the sword. I need the sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Thank you. I want both of these, but anyway. Let's just go ahead and spike down here. We can also do a, like a little double jump by jumping and then slashing. Or dashing and then jumping with the... Jumping and diving. You can do a little double jump because you jump and then do the jump to um, stab downward. Just like that. This is great. Let's take you out. I'm still... I feel like there's probably... There it is. Yeah, I was missing a tulip and I was, thought it would be around here somewhere. Uh, I think that's everything here then. We have all of the Waldies, so I'm probably a little bit worried that I've missed something in terms of tulips. Anything here? There's some birds there. Does that mean anything? Yes, it does. It means we can walk into them and get a star coin. Uh, can't go through there, probably. Also, we apparently can just move the camera with the right stick. Uh, probably just tap it down to reset to normal camera mode. But that's an uh, interesting thing. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to dash immediately. I missed, but it's fine. Here's the last tulip, so let's get that. Another achievement, and apparently that unlocks a waddle on the pin thing there, so I'm not sure what that means exactly, but we'll find out probably. Let's go up here. And let's see what we can do at the end here. I'm guessing the gold cages just means it's the end of the level. I need to be careful. Oh, you can destroy that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You can probably destroy anything. Oh, hey. You can get stuck on that, though. I'm gonna do that. Please. Thank you. There's some health down here, which is good because I hurt myself a little bit. Okay, you can bite that, which will allow us to use it to get up here. Another collectible capsule. And now, let's just break this open. And that should be the end.
three Waddledees. Okay, clear the stage. Save the Waddledees, five tulips, break the builder's shutter. Yes, I did that. I was with the vending machine. And ride the spewing water up to the balcony. So it does show you the stuff that you can do in a level. That's very nice. I like that. Also shows us how many star coins we get in a level. Capsules? I don't know if it's going to tell me how many of those there are to get. Volume 1 is Kirby. Shows the information for it. Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home plan on planet Popstar. When he woke up, he was in a new world, traveling through the vortex. That vortex also gave Kirby a new and mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure. This is cool. I like this. Switch. And also the enemy that we just took out. Tortilding. Whoa, Tortilding's shell is a whole building. This big baddie must be some kind of boss. For the smaller beasts, it enjoys basking in the sun. So it climbs to high spots and claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for it for this critter to get up there. Also, I just love this idea of this enemy using a building as its shell. That's just so... that's brilliant. But there we go. The Brawl at the Mall. Let's go. It's boss time. Now, I'm not sure if this is an actual level that I need to explore or if I can just go to the boss. I'm gonna check around probably just to make sure. It feels like it should just... What did I absorb? I don't know. It feels like it should just be a boss level, but I'm not sure. And I want to be careful, so... Uh, but anyway... Take you... Okay, I can destroy those. I thought I could. It just looked like I could, so... Uh, nothing here. I'm assuming they're not going to put much at the very front of the screen because it'll be a little bit difficult to find things then. I think it's just wanting me to go forward now. This is a really cool place though. Ow. Low battery. Oh no. It's fine. Okay, we have nowhere else to go but up. That's a lot of food there. Is there anything over here? I mean, there is, but also I should probably check the food, maybe? That's a lot of bananas. Okay. That's just there to heal you up, I guess. Maybe? Cool. So there's no Kirby allowed sign here. <gasps> Ooh, power up. Uh, ice, bomb, or sword. Let me take ice since we haven't used that yet. It means we get to freeze things around us. It's like a reverse absorb. Uh, but it means we can freeze things as well and push them around probably. Also, oh, we skate around. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. It just does that by default. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have had all of those bananas. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I need to rotate. Control stick. Freedom is mine. Strong armed beast. Gormond, it's gone now. Gormondo. Gormondo. Oh my gosh. This is probably the coolest the Kirby boss has ever been. <laughs> I've, I've got to admit. Just... Oh my goodness. Because it's all in 3D. I should be careful. Oh. Get off the ground when it stomps. Nope, not quite. It's fine. So I'm not sure if ice was the correct choice here. I probably should have picked something else. I want to try and get behind you because I'm trying to do some damage. But this is not working right now. 
Also, apparently if I tap the button, I can do like an ice shield thing. I think that also freezes things around me, although it's probably more of a attack than a shield. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ow. I'm doing really bad right now. Also, if we get hit with too much damage, we... Oh, I need to not be on the ground. Ow. This is not working. I feel like I might just want to... throw stuff at him rather than anything else. Hang on, let me drop ability. I'm also going to switch quickly to auto swallow off because it means that I can actually throw uh, his own, my power up at him like that. Which I mean, it's, it's a waste of a power up, but also I think it's going to be better off to do ranged attacks than anything else. I absorbed two of those stars there, which means it was a stronger attack, which is also good. I need to be careful where I stand here. Yeah, this is a lot better at ranged. He's angry. Need to be careful. Okay. There's going to be a wave of effect. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to run away now. Oh, he's dizzy. If I was if I was closer, it could be good, but not really because I'm too far away. No. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm so fine right now. Oh, that was close to him not getting hit by that, but he did somehow. Also, you can kind of move slightly when absorbing stuff, so it means you can do a lot more grabbing of stars or something. Ah! Oh, that was so close to death, but it's okay because now I can do that. As a prize of play- More adventures await in the full release. You can use many unique copy abilities. And all new mouth modes. To explore a mysterious new world. Share a Joy-Con with a friend for co-op play. Help re rebuild Wall D Town. And fill it with fun shops and activities. Discover new ways to ex evolve your copy abilities. And make them even more powerful. Experience an exciting, all new story. Meet new friends, rescue abducted worldies. And battle an invasion of ferocious foes, the Beast pa Pack. Will Kirby rescue all of the Waddledees? Can he restore peace to this new world? Find out what fate has in store for Kirby and his friends. The adventure continues in the release of in the release version of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. A town with lots to do. Evolve your copy abilities. A new world of mysteries. Coming coming later this month. Anyway, you can get, get the demo on the Nintendo eShop just underneath the, the buy button, basically. So you can ex ex experience this for yourself, and I would highly recommend doing that before the game releases, just, just to know what it's like and all that. But anyway. That is everything in the demo for now. You can now use evolved copy abilities. Play through any stage again and take your newly ev evolved abilities for a test run. 
Um, I might just leave that as it is for now. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.